Second time round. Why was it better? So we're using initiative. Initiative. Perfect. Which is freedom of movement. Trusting in your own ability. I say it time and time again, everybody in here has got their own special traits on a football field. Right? Show them. When you've got grass and it's just you and the footy and you've got to hit a target, back yourself in. The moment you start to overthink it and I need to find a target, that's when you overthink things and you lose your head. You lose confidence and we lose skills basically. It turns over. So back yourself in. Amy, can you tell me about the first time you walked into Coburg? Oh, the first time I walked into Coburg, I was extremely nervous. Um, I was meeting one of my mates here, Sophie Damon, in, in the car park, which she was the one who brought me to the club. Um, so yeah, I was very nervous, but hella excited. I didn't really know anything about Coburg, to be honest, um, and the football club, because I'm from Chef. So I was very nervous, but very excited to sort of see what, um, yeah, what the club held. <laughs> what got you involved in the club? Um, Sophie Damon, actually, and Tegan Brett as well had a bit of an influence. The two girls, um, two of my best mates from Shepparton, uh, I was working down there and um, yeah, they sort of said, come down. I was playing netball down there and they sort of said, come down and, and have a look at it. Um, I had a few years off, so yeah, they got me down here and then started doing pre-season and then just fell in love with it and <laughs> haven't parted since. <laughs> How would you describe the team environment when you first arrived? Oh, so inclusive um, and so just such a warm embrace coming to the club. Um, the girls are absolutely awesome. Bringing in all of us new girls, there was a lot of new girls coming in last year because the first season they only had one set, one team. Um, so coming into this year, into last year, um, such a warm embrace and just such a good culture to be able to come into and be a part of, yeah. How would you describe the team environment from then to now, has anything changed? Um, the team environment, I don't think so. I think it was something that the leaders sort of um, in the pioneer season really wanted to embody is have that, um, yeah, that team environment shift and, and hold and carry throughout the whole um, the whole program and the whole time it's been around. Um, but yeah, it's just so warm and embracing. It's such a family here. It's one of our main values um, and you can definitely feel it when you come and be a part of the program from inside. It's awesome, yeah. Um, the Coven's important to me because of that family value. Um, the girls that I met here in my first season and this season as well, it's just, they've become my best mates. Um, I love the competition and I love being able to play footy, but the main reason I come here is to hang out with all my best mates. Um, yeah. In your leadership role, what impact are you trying to leave on the other players? Um, oh, the impact I'm trying to leave, um, a part of that, the leadership role, I think is just hopefully being a supportive figure um, and being able to be someone that the girls can come to uh, if ever they need anything outside of footy or, or inside, or whether it be you know selection or um, just any support that they need, um, hopefully just someone that they can come to um, and yeah, get them through whatever they need to be, but also push them and, and um, give them, I guess, that outside and that outlook onto um, what it takes, I don't know, to work really hard and, and yeah, just go all out sort of thing. <laughs> what impact do you think the team has on the community? Oh, I think the impact that we have is is tenfold. I think it's something that we really strive ourselves on is being presentable and being approachable that anyone in the in the community wants to come and be a part of our program is more than welcome. Um, and I think with the juniors and the and the men's program as well, we just kind of really want to bring that unity and family value um, and carry that through. Yeah, it's something that we really sort of strive towards. And, and from the outside point of view, we really want to be a family and unified as much as possible. Yeah. Um, Hoping to achieve, well definitely would love a premiership this year, but I think just to get to a place of where all the girls are comfortable playing footy, playing the game that they love, um, and just in a supportive and inclusive environment, um, it's really something that all the leaders here and the coaches and the leaders who've come before me as well, uh, we just wanted to create that environment and just a safe place for everyone to just get along and yeah, be a family pretty much. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Excellent. Well done.